What's good, crew? Back at early this morning. Another video. Been a couple of days, couple of weeks, you know. Been uh doing a lot, you know, ripping and running, taking care of stuff, you know. New daddy, got the new baby at home, so it's a nice day. It's Christmas week. Uh, what do they call it Christmas week, Christmas cheer, Christmas spirit in the air. Uh, it's Monday. Christmas is Wednesday, so it's not that bad though. A little sweatshirt weather. Man, so we ripping and running. Uh, got both vehicles washed the other day. Uh, man, Tahoe, it's kind of out of focus. Got got her washed up now. But man, I ain't driving it today. I'm about to move. I'm about to uh, take the cut dog out. Uh, seen to have uh, I don't know, a little issues. I don't know. I think I have a little oil gasket leak or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna take it for a ride there. I might take the uh, boys to get haircuts. You know, everybody could be fresh for uh, Christmas. So, I'm gonna pull out the cut list, take the boys in the cut list, you know, me and my two younger boys. And uh, I don't know, I'll probably clean up the engine today. Do a little clean up job. I'm gonna put all that on this vlog today. Ain't gonna be too much, not too long of a vlog, but hey, it'll be some fun, so. Get at me. Stay with me. First things. First things first. Cold start up this joint. Got keys. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that smell, man. You know, old school have a tickler smell no matter how many air freshness you got in it no matter what just smell like old school put that little left fuel go to the carburetor give it a little gas wake up wake up beast there it go oh I'm cutting up this morning she camera shy. Okay. Like I said, a little rinky dink radio. That's all I wanted for now. Eventually, I'm gonna change all that out, man. Put double DNA in. Uh, I'm gonna rechange this whole console, center console, cup holders, cause I don't want this uh, oh, get out, get in focus. This little tape deck holder anymore, and uh. Nobody use the ashtray, I don't smoke. And make it a shorter shifter. So right now I'm cool with the original, man. Just keeping everything pretty much original. So Yep. Waking up. Yeah, like damn. You changed clothes, but uh Yeah man, uh so I still having a really clean under the hood yet you know long story st short the day of the vlog uh something happened with my fuse as well my radio stopped playing and i was it was just a long day that day man so uh i pretty much cut that vlog short so you'll see at the beginning of this vlog where i was talking about going that day to uh spray under the engine you know do some cleanup work and uh pretty much see where i'm at on things I'm about to start changing, but I wanted to clean up under the engine a little bit. But in that day, uh, my fuse went out on the radio again. I thought it was the same fuse it normally is. And uh, I pretty much changed that fuse, but the radio still didn't start playing again. I don't know if you can see that uh, pretty much everything is dark. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm driving right now. But uh, so right now, I'm here to get a haircut first because uh, it's New Year's Eve. Everybody, you know, out and about trying to get the last, you know, I guess sales for the New Year's and everything like that. I'm just trying to get a haircut. Not trying to look too crazy uh, in case family come by and stuff like that. And then after that, I'm going to go and probably get me a, you know, local hardware store, uh, Auto zone or something like that and get me a uh, a fuse kit. 
Because right now I just had a, the standard 20 fuses that I thought it was for the radio, but it seemed like that's not doing it. So I'm going to go get me a fuse kit. Alright crew, I'm back in action now. As you can see, yep, it was like I said, a fresh hair cut. Uh it was a fuse. So I went uh I don't know if you can see at the local auto zone out here in Port Arthur. And it was uh yeah an old school 20 for the cigarette lighter and everything. So I'm back in action. See it's loading back up. Man, so I had to buy this kit. It's about seven dollars so add that to a collection of other little kits and stuff but uh that's a good thing about old school man most stuff is inexpensive you know not too uh high and uh i'm back to action so now i had a dilemma so i check my oil pressure and not oil pressure but yeah pretty much all level and the dipstick showed that i need to add a quart uh i haven't changed the oil yet on this car since i i purchased it back in november uh well a couple months ago in october and uh i said well i could just add oil or i can get oil changed and get them to add the oil then and then i know myself you know the owner before me said hey i already changed the oil i just do it myself and feel good so that's what I'm off to now. So, uh, yeah, feel good now. So I can play radio if I want. You guys can't listen to it though. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. So get to me in a little bit. Okay, so it's getting a little later. I just walked over here to the local subway, got a little food, but uh, end up getting my oil changed like i said over at precision the uh, sun's going down it's getting kind of late in the day man did a lot of ripping and running but uh yeah old girl looking clean let me go up in here take care of the business pay so uh holla at y'all when i'm through with this so back at the crib long day ripping and running man i don't know could be just the weather change you know it get dark so quick you know, new baby, I'm on different sleeping patterns, and uh, I don't know, just uh, the gloom. You know, it's been real cold this week, not as much sun. Checking the mailbox. But uh, I still, still, still wasn't able to clean the engine. <laughs> Little something there. The way I wanted to today, so I'm just gonna type this, uh, this, this uh, vlog, because I want to close it out. Pretty much, I got the oil changed, so that's good. Got the oil changed, rip and run, changed the fuses on it, got the radio back and running. Uh, my neighbor coming up the street, real good guy, Mr. S Mr. Sweet. He's a veteran as well. <laughs> Older gentleman, you know, uh, I'm about to get off track with this uh, this little rant. Uh, I noticed uh, mainly in the black community, when we see, hmm, let me say this. Younger black people. Older black people, when you see younger black people move in your community, most of the time, I guess, we want to be a little bit more guarded. We think like, hey, man, you know, look at that young joker moving the neighborhood. You know, he might be going to bring my property value down. He's going to start not maintaining his yard or 
playing music too loud or gonna have bad kids running the neighborhood. Uh, my neighborhood is predominantly, it's a mixed neighborhood. We got, you know, white gentlemen, white people. Uh, I have two Muslim neighbors there across the street from me. Uh, but I noticed that I only had like two other black people in my neighborhood and they were they're older guys, and both of them veterans. They never spoke to me. They never, they always looked at me with this mean mug like, and uh, after my mother-in-law passed away, uh, you know, one of the guys started speaking to me more. And, you know, it's just like, oh man, you know, should have spoke to you more often and this and this and this. And, you know, we got a good, you know, relationship now. And uh, that's what it's about, you know, love thy neighbor and everybody looks out for each other. And I think they just, you know, misjudge me. You know, I'm a younger guy. They probably thought like, hey, he's gonna do some raw raw stuff. I'll take, I'll cut my own grass. I'm one of the two people in the whole neighborhood that cut their own, and maintain their own yard. And I, you know, I just come in and out the house. So, but anyway, back to the the vlog though. The colors, you know, she's looking good. She's man, she's running even good. You know, they topped off all my levels, all my oil levels, everything. So, uh, still gotta clean under the engine, but like I said, all got changed. Uh, fuses got changed. So I'm feeling good about it. So right now, I'm about to shut this off. Everybody, you know, 2020 is about to be a good year for everybody. I hope everybody get ready for big things, uh, do good things, you know, have a blessed, you know, New Year's, whatever you uh, believe in. You know, just stay positive, stay with your family, love and peace. Bye.